Whoa, I'm glad I didn't watch this movie in theaters. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Rumors. Now, some of you might not have even seen this movie. I saw that it was in theaters for a week and then it was gone. And I did want to see it, but now that I've actually seen it, I am happy I did not spend the money on this. This is a movie that had a very funny looking concept, and I think that's as far as the writers and directors got. There are three guys who are attached to this. You've got seven world leaders at the G7 summit talking about pretty much the most mundane of shit. It is a funny idea. All the while, there are some very strange things happening around them relating to bog people, but then it starts to get weirder and weirder, and it turns out that they're very much on their own, and they're trying to figure out what's going on. Um, all the while still coming back to kind of the absurdity and the silliness of writing a statement for the world in terms of the G7 global warming thing. And that is it, because the movie goes nowhere. It goes from them going from one scene to another, and the cohesion is just nonsensical. The performers are still doing pretty good. Uh, there's the very strange thing of Charles Dance playing the American president, despite not getting rid of his British accent, and apparently that was something that they wanted from the beginning, because... People look to us to provide clarity. And I feel like that's going to be your reason for watching a lot of this movie. Why is this happening? Because. Why is there a giant brain in the middle of this forest? Because. Why are the bog people jerking it in the forest? Because it really has nothing going on, aside from some admittedly pretty good political jokes. What were they then, terrorists? They loomed threateningly. Protesters. Whether it's about, oh, the Germans getting <laughs> excited or getting uh, inspired. I do tend to get a little caught up in the dramatics. Germany caught up into dramatics. We've seen this before. Just the silliness of what they are there to do being this statement that they keep on coming back to despite the fact that there are clearly bigger issues at hand are when Elisa Vikander just appears in this movie and then leaves. It just felt like there was no reason to this movie. There was no point. There was no cohesion. It was just these guys got together, had an acid trip and thought, hey, you know what would be funny? Talk about the G7, but like have weird shit happen. And that's it. I have not watched a movie this pointless in a long, long time. There is no reason for you to care about what's going on with the characters, aside from admittedly Roy DePew who plays the Canadian <laughs> ambassador. And he's pretty funny, I'll, I'll admit his whole breakdown is him just losing his mind, but still being like, I love strong women, kind of is again funny, but when you have these moments so infrequently amongst a script that is just completely, utterly pointless and going completely nowhere with an ending that I swear they thought that they were the smartest people on the fucking planet when they came up with that ending, all the while taking a huge toke from the bong, it doesn't really connect. It doesn't have a purpose. And I know I've said that many a time through this review, but that's what it felt like. I was sitting there for the entire hour and a half plus waiting for this movie to have a fucking point and it never appeared. It's a waste of a lot of people's time. It is a waste of a concept that would have been funny. Like I, I was even having some possible severance vibes, like not obviously going into the whole idea what severance was, but just kind of delving into maybe like a weird, Lovecraft kind of version of it, but no, they don't do that either. Like that brain. What the fuck is this brain? What the fuck is it? Despite some jokes that made me laugh, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot recommend this movie to anyone because you're, I, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want you to waste an hour and a half of your time. You could read a book, go for a walk, you could ride a bike, watch a different movie. Anyways, in the end, I am going to give Rumors a 1 out of 7. Absolutely going on my worst of the year list. Uh, but yeah, just wolf. Wow, wow. I am really happy I did not spend money on seeing this. Because if I had, I would have been furious. But those are my thoughts about this movie. I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say. Anyone who has watched it and did like it, 
please let me know because I'm very curious to see why you liked it. And I'm gonna like bash you. I'm just curious because I, I couldn't I couldn't like almost any of this movie. But those are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.